guys. It is currently 2.30 in the morning, uh, July 9th, 2020. But last night at 11.22 p.m. we were joined by our little mm -hmm. Avery. She's currently breastfeeding at the moment. She's breastfeeding at the moment. But yeah, she was born at 11.22 p.m. July 8th. Emergency yeah, by an emergency C-section. Um, so after the after the first epidural, um, things were going kind of good. Um, Del was wasn't feeling any pain and he was loving it pretty much. Um, but then after about an hour and a half, yeah, and so about an hour and a half, it started wearing off, and they gave her like a little um, button to press to release more of the drug. Um, but it wasn't working and then we were waiting for about half an hour really just for it to start working and then we realized that um one of the cables or whatever it is um was loose and all the drugs were going on her back like <laughs> on the bed so not inside so um the dreaded decision was to give her another epidural so I have to do the whole process again. So, epidural twice. Mm -hmm. So she went through that all again, um, two epidurals, and then the pain started stopping. Um, the doctor or the, or the OB did another physical examination. Um, they actually were able to do the lactate test to um, do a little cut on Avery's head to see um, if she was stressed out, but she was. she really wasn't. Um, but I think she had like a small little poop, a small poop inside, um, but it wasn't affecting them both, um, negatively. Um, it was more so the fact that she was only four centimeters dilated for being more than 14 hours in labor. So, um, they decided to just do an emergency C-section because she wasn't progressing well in terms of her dilation. Um, and because baby was, you know, did that little poo inside and, um, also, they said something that my yeah, urine, my urine color wasn't that great. Yeah, either. the urine was starting to change color as well. So I think it was a better decision to do the C-section. Yeah. Um, plus my and Avery's heart was like fluctuating up and down. Yeah, so they were heart having rate, like, so. um, fluctuating heart rates. So I think it was a good decision to make. Um, we signed the waiver forms and... We brought it downstairs and yeah, it was a bit crazy. Like, um, it took us about, it took her about 10 minutes to all get set up. Um, I was pacing around the outside because I couldn't be inside. And then, um, I went in, uh, saw Del and she was on the table. Um, and it took about six minutes to get Avery out and, um, about yeah, half an hour to Yeah, it, about half an hour to, um, let's get this way, sorry. About half an hour to, um, stitch it back up because she lost quite a lot of blood, um, because of her high BP and, and whatnot, and just the, pretty much the big ordeal that she went through, so, um, that was a bit scary, but, um, I had Avery in my hands the whole time, in my arms the whole time. She was crying the whole time. Yeah, she was crying, she, she was hungry. Um but yeah, look, God willing, she um she was able to get stitched up by the end of it all and yeah, now we're up here in our ward room. Um and Avery's mm -hmm. been feeding really well. Yeah, she's she's, latching, well. she's latching on pretty well and um now it's just about time to rest up and tell them that Mm. Yeah, so she's about three and a half kilos, um, much bigger than what we anticipated in terms of all the scans and stuff like that. Um, they were saying she was more of an average size baby, but I think for us, I think we're very happy in terms of um, just how big and how much hair she had. She had a big head. <laughs> um, she's about 43 centimeters long. And... Yep, five yeah. fingers, five toes, two eyes. Um, yeah. She has a birthmark like me. Yeah, she has a birthmark on her bum, like mummy. 
Um, it looks. <laughs> but it's just looks just like her mum, really. She has the nose. Yeah. Yeah. I had look. I to be honest, I had my phone with me the whole time, but um, and and I I was trying to keep Del calm, trying to keep myself calm, and you know just let the professionals do the work. Um, she was having like a bit of a reaction or what they call like releasing some of her um my arm's getting sore um releasing some of her adrenaline so she was quite shaking quite badly um throughout the whole thing um uh, but it was just that, just that effect but we had a pretty good anesthesis and um i mean the surgery team was good as well so gonna rest up now um del's got a couple of days in recovery so i hope she recovers well um, but yeah, for now, baby Avery is feeding and she's doing really well. Love you, darling. Love you too. Love you. <laughs> so yeah, that is it. That is it for our little experience. I mean, there's a couple of more days left. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure we'll talk about that, but yeah. Welcome to the little world, my darling. Our baby's getting an injection. Right. We want mum. Good night, everyone. Hey, you're wide awake and it's midnight. <laughs> huh? There's a party like your mama? She has her check up in one so in an hour. You want to go to sleep? Take a nap for an hour before you get checked? Hmm. Yeah, no. Say good night, everyone. Good night. Mm, it feeds a lot, man. Oh, it shits a lot too. Yeah. So it's good. I'm not so happy. I'm good. I'm more tired. She got a... <laughs> okay, buy me nappy. Buy me nappy. Buy nappy. Look at her. Look at her eyes. Good morning, guys. So we are officially on day three here at the hospital. It is the 11th of July. And hopefully today will actually be um, the day that we get discharged from the hospital as well. Depending on how everything's going, um, yeah, they'll probably discharge us today. And we can finally go home. Oh, it's been really good here in the hospital though. I've, like, I've got really nice midwives that have been taking care of us. And they're all really nice and friendly and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I do miss my bed. And I just kind of want to go home already. But yeah, bye bye. Can you see her? There she is. <laughs> Um, yeah, she's just laying next to me here. Um, so, what's been happening the past few days? Mark will update you. No. We haven't been I haven't been able to vlog the past two days as I wanted to. Because, um, yeah, I've been pretty groggy. So, today's actually a pretty good start. Like, um, feeling a bit better. Um, since my little um, C-section surgery, whatever it is. But, um, yeah, Mark will keep you updated on what's been happening the past two days. <laughs> Just woke up. Um, what's been happening? Um, so it's every came. Yeah, so when she, when it was day, what? So the first night that we had, um, Avery was still full of energy when she came out. Um, she had a good breastfeeding session with, uh, with mummy. Um, but we tried to get, we, she didn't, maybe we needed some, some big rest. So we, so me and AB started walking and, and doing laps around the, um, board. Doing laps for a couple of hours, like one or two hours. Um, cause she was wide awake. And then, um, yeah, mommy was able to get some rest and we, <laughs> yeah, she was kind of high on drugs. Um, yeah, the pain meds were kind of making her like doze off every couple of minutes so it was good for her to get some actual rest um and yeah we went to we went back to the room and then Amy pretty much slept for the whole day <laughs> pretty much and that continued on for the next day as well um but really throughout our stay so far she's had really good bowel movements um which really means that you know the breastfeeding is working um she has no trouble, sorry, no trouble um, getting a good sucking rhythm going. Um, 
a shed has a very strong sucking motion. Um, it's just a matter of latching on properly, and that's kind of what's causing Bell some pain. Um, probably because you know everything's still a bit sensitive, and um, we are and, and, and we are trying to feed her about every two or three hours, um, and she actually does feed every two or three hours. Like um, she never says no. Um, and yeah, there's just the difficulties because um, uh, Del's mobility was still a bit um, limited in the first two days, um, but now she's able to stand up um, and walk around. Um, and yeah, so they've done some testing. Um, Avery's got the first kind of like head to toe che uh, check, apart from her eyes because she was still sleeping, but um, yeah, she was. Passed up with flying colors, very, very good. Um, good reflexes, good oxygen saturation, all that stuff. Um, yesterday she had her earring um, exam, and that was really good too. Passed that with flying colors. Um, you know, mummy been getting lots of blood tests um, just because of her um, hemoglobin levels. Um, they kind of dropped because of the. Um, C-section surgery, um, that was, she lost quite a lot of blood, so, um, yesterday afternoon, they put her on an iron transfusion for about two hours, and hopefully that should, um, help with the recovery over the next couple of weeks, um, we're just waiting for a few blood test results today, and yeah, we might be able to get sent home. The doctors are super happy with Avery, um, you know, she has good circulation, she responds to things, um, she eats, you know, on demand, um, and yeah, it's really good. Uh, it's just hard for us to kind of lay her down, because, oh, for me anyway, um, the first cry, I always want to try and see if she's okay. Um, but I think now she's doing much better because she's able to actually be with mummy. Um, yeah, it's really good. We're so happy. Um, I think today they're just going to do a slight little test for her colour and, and um, could have an early stage of um, jaundice. But that's quite common with kids and and the doctors are quite... Um, they're pretty happy with her anyway because she um, you know, has the regular bowel movements, she wheezes um, and eats a lot, so, you know. Um, everything else is good, so this should be good as well. And before you know it, we're gonna be home. Um, we've, oh, I've changed nappies so many times. <laughs> She's never had an empty nappy, which is really, really good. Um, I check every two or three hours and I always try and clean it as much as I can. Um, and yeah, it's really, it's really, really positive. So yeah, we're quite happy at the moment. She had a really good night last night. She we. She will sleep after she feeds, and hopefully today during the day she'll be awake. Um, I'll try and walk her around the ward again. Um, and yeah, we'll see. Um, everybody's excited to see her. Her grandparents and aunties are gonna be at the house, so... Yeah, that's a little update. Sorry for the camera angle. I'm not very used to doing these. <laughs> and my eye bag is so bad. All right, bye. So what's the update, bub? The update is we're going home. <laughs> yeah. We're going home and Avery's wearing her going home outfit. She's a bumblebee. Yeah, she's sleeping right now. And then this is my last meal, hospital meal. Last hospital meal. Which is um, cottage pie. Cottage pie with some corn, broccoli. Broccoli, veggies. Oh, yeah, veggies. Yeah, everything is good, I think. Everything is good. We're going to have a follow-up checkup um, tomorrow at home. Tomorrow at home, yeah. The midwife's going to come visit us tomorrow at home. And then we have to come back here on Monday with Monday baby. Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, Monday or Tuesday. The, um, eye test. Eye test. And... We're going home. And we are officially going home now. Amy's in the car. She's still fast asleep. Good. Which is good. And yeah, we're going to live about 15 minutes away. But see ya, Calvary. See you again on Monday. Here we are home. Everyone's excited to see you.
<laughs> she slept the whole car ride. She's like, this is fun and bumpy. And it hurts my tummy. Please, my darling, Abel. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm cute. Yeah, I got it on camera. <laughs> she smiled. <laughs> you like that? You're laughing at Lola. Uh -uh. She can't pronounce her name. <laughs> oh. Avery, Avery, my darling, Avery. <laughs> Avery, when you were born, there was a pandemic you called like the you, huh? coronavirus. So we had to wear masks. Can you see this in the future? What else? Oh, they're so cute. Careful, Alia. I love you should put her lamb there. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? 